Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana seems to continue to move down in its downward trend. Yesterday, a small reaction to the upside, but nothing that would change course here. And also we had this rally two days ago due to the Visa partnership news. Again, nothing sustainable and it would be nice to get at some point back into a situation in which the prices go up again and you don't just see another crash or sell off uh, after uh, one or two days but this is just characteristic for this kind of type of market i mean it's currently in a downtrend we've been talking about that we, we talked about what we need to see that we get back into an uptrend so far we haven't seen that and therefore it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that news like this are just sort of disappearing you know yeah not disappearing but you know it, it sort of might have an initial effect on the chart but as i often say news are typically just leading to short-term volatility. They do not change the trend. And this is exactly what we see here. So even if it was moving up now, I mean, you can see it. It <laughs> That was the news pump. Yeah, if that was actually the reason, it might have been. And then it was sold off again. It lost everything again. So news, no effect at all. Yeah, it didn't lead to any increased value or any, any change in perception among people, among traders, among investors, because uh, there is no in, 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 you know, there's no increased demand. So it's just a bit of profit taking happened there. And uh, yeah, so far we have a triple bottom here or something, right? So these typically break and we are still watching follow up prices. And now we have the next level to watch around $18.37, then $17.88 and $17. All the levels are already well known. We've been talking about that or these over the recent weeks. Interesting to see that um, price is consolidating just below Fibonacci resistance, but also just below the larger 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level at $20.20. .20. So well, that the place or the, the level, the price level that price used to find support before, it has morphed into resistance. And that just confirms that downward trajectory towards lower prices. What do we need to see for the price to turn around? It would be nice to see a breakout of the descending wedge to the upside. An initial breakout could send us all the way up to $22.20. .20. That's the previous B wave high and an area at which price has found frequent support before. Three or four times here it was retested. Also, this level was previous support or re resistance. Yeah, it was resistance and support and here as well. That's a key level, $22.20. .20. So far, the price is below that, and we are waiting patiently for the price to get back to that level to at least test it. And it can do that if we get a breakout of the wedge pattern to the upside. And the break of the wedge pattern to the upside is something that would not necessarily confirm that we are back in a, let's say, lasting uptrend. That is what the price structure is going to tell us. So we would need to see a five-wave move up followed by a three-wave pullback. At the moment, all we can see is consolidation just below resistance and consolidation within the descending wedge pattern. So just to just to emphasize that a break out of the wedge pattern to the upside alone will not be enough information and confirmation that we're getting back into a lasting uptrend, but it can send us short term back to $22.20. If, however, we see a five-wave move up of the lows, one, two, three, four, five, above initial resistance, which at the moment is $20.50, followed by a three-wave pullback, then we, first of all, have a trade setup, a so-called one-two setup, and this is also initial confirmation that the price attempts to rally higher in a third wave and so on, and it would then eventually... Um, get back into an uptrend so that is the very least we need to see five waves up above resistance and three waves down into support holding support and then we can look at higher yeah until then um, we need to stay calm need to stay patient focus on the downside to the next targets daily rsi is something that i'm observing in the background the daily rsi our relative strength index oops where is it there you go if we zoom in, you can see that on the daily RSI price remains in the bearish range below 50 and it is not oversold yet. So could still technically drop down a little bit lower. Yeah, could still drop a little bit lower. It has more space to the downside and the next support levels are communicated. Yeah, that's my update about Solana. 
Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.